Were you surprised about the indictment? No. You thought it was coming? I think the city had common knowledge it was coming. Why is that? Well, uh, my family called me and told me that uh, I was being indicted. Uh, different people that I know in court courthouse circles told me I'd be indicted, so uh, I was indicted. Well, why? I mean, why? How did they know that? Well, I wouldn't know how they knew. Uh, well, what, what would give them reason to feel that? I wouldn't have the slightest idea. You're saying that even before you went before the grand jury today, you figured you were going to be indicted? I laid eight to five. You laid eight to five? And I will pick the money up. You bet on yourself that you'd be indicted. Right. <laughs> Why, Mr. Andrews? Uh, intuition. Do you think that somebody was... But in your opinion, do you think a conspiracy did exist? I don't think so. Now, I'm not saying a conspiracy in relation to Mr. Garrison's investigation. That's his problem. It's my analysis of the Warren report, and I don't mean anyone to take out of context my opinion of a conspiracy. In other words, you're not saying that... You're saying that maybe perhaps Garrison might uncover something the Warren Commission doesn't... No, know. I don't say that. Actually, I shouldn't have answered the question at all, and before I thought accurately, I began to answer, and I had a double back, and as they say back home, crawfish, you know, pull up. Really, I shouldn't have answered that, because that's derogatory to the opinions expressed by our Honorable Assistant District Attorney, the Jolly Green John. Three hours before announcing their verdict, then Andrews was led down the stairs to a jail cell. The hip-talking lawyer, who had joked with newsmen while waiting the jury verdict, was still smiling as he left the courtroom, but it was no longer a joking matter. He could face up to five years in prison on each count. Under Louisiana law, he cannot be released on appeal bond until sentence is passed, which will probably be later today. Andrew's attorney, Harry Birdglass, says he will definitely...